She just know, you know, when to say something, when it's time to do something, when it's time to work, when it's time to orchestrate some things. Hallelujah. And she just knows that it blessed me because I'm the complete opposite. I would just say whatever I'm going to come by at the time. So sometimes God will put people in your life to ground you, to motivate you, to be the woman or man of God that he has called you to be. And she has been exactly just that. Hallelujah. From that many years ago, I can honestly say from that day I met her in Cedar Hill, Texas, she has been the same lady green, the same sweet, kind-hearted person, the one that loves everybody. I've never seen her put anyone down. All I've heard her do is encourage her. She loves to see everyone work and be a part. And it says a lot about her, and not only her, but the ministry that God has put within her. So I'm so excited to see what the Lord is going to do through her on today. I'm just blessed to be in the house. Uh, and I don't want to present to some and introduce to others none other than the lady Ray Jane Testimony. Uh -huh. That is what God is giving me. Uh -huh. His testimony. Uh -huh. And 
I just remembered that as I sat there. Uh -huh. And I said, these are all testimonies. Yes. And when we look back in the, at our lives, and we can attest to having so many issues. Uh -huh. Now, I thought I was going to get up here and give y'all the word from, <clears throat> and I still may interject scripture. But my testimony is that I uh, I have my mother now. She's 85. And now this just didn't start today. But on this morning, she calls and says, I fell and hit my head. She has been admitted to a rehab. And she was in the hospital prior to that. So you know all the issues related to that. And you know when it comes to your mama and your kids, that's an issue. Yeah. So I begin to get disturbed this morning and our pastor said i'm not going to get mad i'm afraid yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and it, it is so wonderful to have god confirm that word because i was getting kind of mad this morning i right. called my sister and i said uh y'all need to pray and get the bail money because i think i might need some help when i get to that uh nursing home but as I walked through the house preparing myself, the Lord said, what have you been reading about? So I got quiet and I got out of cells and I said, Lord, every scripture in Mark 9 through 18 and 26. Every scripture through Mark 5, 22 and 43. Every scripture through Luke 8, 41 and 56 had been about both that had issues. Now, what did they do? What did they do? Because throughout this, even before, in the chapters before, it speaks about Jesus going and laying hands and healing and people pressing their way to him and knocking each other over to the point that we, uh, he was like, who, who, who touched me? You know what I'm talking about. And then the, the joker that came out with the legions, he had so many, how many devils do we have? Running rapid through our lives. And what did he even do? Uh -huh. yes. So so when I, I started evaluating everything that I read, and I was like, Pastor, I think uh, at first I called Pastor and I said, I think I might not be there because I got to go see about my mom. And it kept, they were kept trying to come up, the legions yeah. kept trying to surface yeah. 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 and speak and take control uh -huh. and put the fetters on me and tie me down to weary frustration and anger and emotion. Yeah. But I thank the Lord that he thank the Lord. Hallelujah. And he spoke, he said, what you been reading? Hallelujah. What have you been reading? So I said, Father, okay. I looked at the time, I said, I got 15 minutes to get out this door. But I'm trusting you to go uh -huh. and take care of my mother. I got a call. Uh, I'm a social worker, and uh, we're getting ready to address all these issues with your mother. Come on, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. the screen. Yeah. Yeah. But the previous phone call was that this is Mrs. Green, and I am very much trying to stay composed about an issue that my mother is having this morning. And I would appreciate the phone call back with a smile in my voice. I didn't have to get mad as fast as that. Y'all better call me back by my mama. Somebody better get in there in that room and take out on my way up there. Come on now. 
didn't have to do that. What I did have to do was understand that in the word, when he speaks about health, it's just not about health. It could be about your finance. It can be about your children. It can be about your job. It can be about you and your selfishness, your conceit, your envy. It can be about anything that is related to what concerns you. When Jesus was born, he did not say, uh, oh, uh. You said your dog is sick. Okay, let me, let me take care of this over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and never go back. He actually went back to the center when he said, oh, my daughter lie dying. He then addressed the woman with the issue of blood, and then he said, come on, let's get on down. But the friends were like, put the ball in him because she already gone. Uh -huh. And every time Jesus said, your faith, according to to your faith. So now I had to believe that mama's going to be okay. Yes, hallelujah. Mama calling on the phone, sounding so frail, and a friend did that. I was like, Lord, I need to be there. Now, this is the other issue that told me I couldn't be there with my mom. Uh, but every uh, it was two hours, and he had to leave an hour. Then he come back two hours. Then he had to leave now up until from ten to seven. So you know, some started rising up in me because I'm thinking that makes no earthly sense. However, they have rules. Everybody got rules, and that was an issue for me. Yeah, yeah. Right. I want to be there sitting with my mama for four to six, eight hours until yeah. I'm content that she's content. But here's where we have to trust God. Here's where he will not only sometimes go before us, but ask you, what are you believing? Where's your faith? Is it just for your baby? Is it just for your baby? Oh Lord, touch my child. I believe you for, I believe you for. But then when you get over here in your finances, but I don't know how to get this car going. I don't know. And maybe I want to do this, but you have to talk to God about nothing. Where is your faith? Here you go. Here it is. In all situations. Ah, in every To the point where he said, if we ask, ha, 
Believing, yeah. we will receive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the woman with the issue of blood is, is the one thing that speaks out to us in most of those Matthew Marcus and John. I was, I was like, oh my gosh, they, they have so many testimonies in here, not just of the woman with the issue of blood. But it speaks to the fact that uh, she had that issue for 12 years. We can't even deal with something for 12 days. When they go, oh, we, I need my money. When they go to do songs, I'll be waiting five hours. Yes, we have become a microwave society, and we need to grow up. Yes, Come on. Come on. Come on. I am uh, the microwave queen. <laughs> I do not use four letter words like C O O K, B A K E, B O I L. -E. And I have learned, though, that there are times I need to get in that kitchen and do what it takes to prepare a meal on the stove. Uh -huh. <laughs> because my mother is not that type of person. She's from the old school. So I, God is teaching me something, even in that. Yeah. Even in that, I need to take my time and look at the ingredients in my life, analyze them, measure them, be precise in my prayer, in my study of the word, uh -huh. in my asking, in my believing, in my faith. We need to be precise. Uh -huh. And if I can only measure out an hour for prayer, if I can measure out 15 minutes for worship, if I can measure out 45 minutes of worship, uh, uh, counsel or, or witnessing with someone, get it, get it. that is the ingredients for getting to God. We need to be We need to be able to bake that cake, and the results of that is how we analyze what we're doing and taking that time to do it. Uh -huh. The woman said, "I had this issue for twelve years, and I just heard." about this man named Jesus. How many of us have heard about the man named Jesus? <laughs> now, all of us are here, but if we can imagine Jesus, Father God, thank you. If we could imagine Jesus, and we knew for a fact in our heart that he was the answer to the issue. Oh, God. Yeah. How fast will we press our way? Hey, wow. We be knocking each other over. I know for a so fact that Brother Johnson, with his long legs, he probably jump over a few of them. And he beat some of, somebody up here. But this is the sense of urgency that we need to have when we have issues. We cannot pout and cry and fuss and argue and accuse people. Everything is everybody else's fault. Yeah. But where are you on your knees and where are you in your faith about believing about the, the uh, solution to your issues? Wow. And it comes down to us knowing that we have Christ as our solution. He is the solution for the centurion that had a, uh, a sermon. He was the, the solution for the gentleman uh, that, that, that had a, a daughter that was sick. He was the solution for the lepers. He was the solution for the crippled, the blind, and the crazy. Uh, and we are in, we have issues today 
that we cannot fix on our own. Come on. If I had gone to that nursing home today or rehab, whatever they want to call it, where my mama is, and, and, and just acted out of character, that wasn't going to change the thing. That's right. That's right. When they told me in the hospital, the day, we've been there all day, and now I can't go up to the room. She finally got a minute. I can't go up to the room. I told them, I said, I, I, I said, I have a little anxiety about this. <laughs> I've been with my mama in this building all day. Now you tell me I can't walk with her to her room and get her settled. I have a little bit of anxiety about some things, but I'm not going to say that I don't believe that God can ah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. fix that issue. We are human, yes. But I want to encourage each one of us. If we have issues and you go to someone, don't join the bandwagon for the pig party. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on. Help them lift them up. Thank you, Lord. Let's believe God together. 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 Can we say that? Let's believe God together for the issues that come into our life. Yes. Let us not go lower. This is a new day and a new dawning. Uh, the, the COVID virus, it's an issue. Yeah. But God has kept us. Thank you. Thank you. And the issue is that my mother is on dialysis three times a week. And she has to be exposed to other people. And she's been in the hospital maybe 15 times in the last year. And each time they test her, they said, oh, no, have you had COVID? And my mother said to me the other day, she said, it's a miracle. <laughs> And everyone is an immune deficiency issue. But she said, it's a miracle. I yes. What kind of miracles is God working in your life? That if you have an issue 
if you got some cake helpings, if you got some things that are trying to activate in your body, if there are something, there's a sickness in your body, uh, uh, can I just take a poll in the church? Is there anybody having some sick issues? I wish you could up that hand even now. Look, I'm not always speaking to you as a physician, but I'm speaking to you as the man of God. Because for every problem, God has a solution. And I can tell you, word of worship, for every problem, there is a solution. In fact, the solution is older than the problem. The healing is older than the disease. Come on here. Anybody having some financial problems? If you're not afraid, lift up those hands. Come on, take the beat and out of Let me put both my hands. As much as I think I spend it, amen, in this building, in this church, on children, on family. And I don't care what y'all say, if you make 20000 or 100000 it's not enough. I need God in this building. Because your God has for me, amen, I can't look at what I make. Because what he wants me to do is greater than what my bank account looks like. Does so anybody here that would take possibly? I gotta tell you that the month is longer than the money. So I've been in a place now where the month has been longer than the money. Uh, uh, and can I just have anybody just had an issue of you just being frustrated? Come on, you lift up those hands. I've been frustrated. Hey, man, you had a lot of drama. You had a lot of stress. I like to put those two together, brother. But I thought it's drama. Anybody had any drama in the place? Look, okay, man, they think it's about to stress you out. You got to lose your mind. You trying to stand up the enemy. It's time to pull you down. Hey, man, you're trying to ask God to pull you out of what you got yourself into. God is saying, I'm waiting for somebody to say, that the issue I have is not my issue, it's God's issue. And because I shut the law that can do exceedingly abundantly, above all that I can ask something according to the power, the demon must be a Zeusia that works on the inside of me. And I can see about 10 or 20 folk that would be honest with God on the day and say, Lord, I would tell the big old speak about me today. I'm stepping into the water by his feet. Because I need you to bless me right now. Because they don't know how close I am to my best moment. They don't know how close I came to jumping out of a bridge. They don't know how close I came to folding up my arms and I ain't doing this no good. They don't know how close I am to, that I'm about to give up. I was somebody to say, Lord, I give you these issues. Yeah, yeah. Because I need you. Every day and every hour. Listen, while the water is being troubled, Kimber can send it, but I know you got to take a trip. Walk your wife up here. Come here again. I know that the doctor said, hey, man, this is cancer, man. Hallelujah. And then every time you get a clearance that the cancer is gone, the enemy keeps coming back saying the issue is now. She's getting ready to take a flight on this coming week to go to Arizona. But I want to tell you that if God did it before, he can do it again. Thank you, Miss Lady. I need somebody that's going to believe. That cancer is just a six letter word to God. Now, when I say cancer is just a six letter word to God, I'm going to go, you still believe God. The same God that healed you before, the same God that turned it around, the same God that healed you of a tumor in your hand, the same God that said, hey man, you can go have the baby, the same God that said, you don't want to go, you don't go. I come out of that system, the same God that said that you just don't have a house. The same God said that I will give your husband out of my own home. Do you believe that same God this I want you to lift up your hand. Can you put your hand right there on the side? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, not according to nothing, but 
but not according to you. God, if we take this child, we not go to the If we take this child, we not take this child. If we give you in my life, if we make this way possible, if we make this promise, promise already be done now.
I don't want to talk to the God to return the children. The victim is not the victim. Will you just say that over your life? No, I'm the victim and not the victim. In the name of Jesus. Come on, if you believe what you just took place in this church, put those just hands together and give God praise. Come on, give God praise. We're going to do both of our things. We're going to do both of our things. For those of you that are preparing, amen, to give your time, when you got it in your hand, I want you to stand up. Now, somebody already know where to worship to the God in Christ, amen. Even if you ain't got it, I want you to stand to your feet. But I want you to get your best offering, amen. Did you hear what I said? Give God your best offering on today. Yes, sir. You can't keep asking God to bless you and you not bless me. The law of reciprocity said that if you give, he'll give back to you, press down, shake it together, run it over when he calls me to give it to your person. Somebody said, well, Pastor, I gave that time and nothing happened. Lie, lie, and so on. When you gave, God said, you shall live and not die. When you gave, he said, look here, your car is going to continue to run. You know, when you gave, he said, you still don't have the job on Monday. When you gave, he said, I'm still not going to let Corona overtake them. Don't you ever sit there and say, the God didn't give back to me. I want you to stand up with that gift in your hand. Because I learned that, amen, in order to have a harvest, I want y'all to hear me, in order to have a harvest, you got to first plant a seed. In order to have a harvest, you got to plant a seed. Watch well, this even work, sister. Uh, 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 Tom, even I know you get ready to go. Uh, and catch the plane, but God said if you put something on it, oh, God. Oh, God. And you're not giving to me, you give to God. I go to work every day. Get on somebody. 
But I found out that every time I bless God, somehow, some way, God gives it back to me. I was on my way to the revival Thursday night. Cars flipping around me. And I remember that that morning, Friday morning, I go that Friday morning, as I was preparing, and I remember I saw her seat into a young lady that was on the prayer line. She quit her job as a teacher to go back to college and not to take a non-paid job, but she is going to now minister to college students because 70% of college students enter into college and lose their faith. I said, the Lord told me to sow a seed into you. And when I gave that seed, on my way to the revival, on 75, right there in Park Lane, car slipping over and over. And me and my little red Mercedes beard, they nothing happened. Oh. Hallelujah. God said, I even helped you even before. You remember when you left walking in the hospital? Y'all walk out there and see somebody said, Pastor Ben, you need to fix that bullet hole. That bullet hole reminds me that when they shot in my car, amen, the bullet hit the car, but it didn't hit me. <laughs> Walking out of church, they just shoot. I felt like the man was in church. Hallelujah. And you just kept on blessing. And when you put a seed for your child and for your children, this is good wine. Yes, 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 yes. Now, whether you have or don't have, I want you to lift up your time and I want you to lift up your offering. Even if you don't have anything, lift up your hands. And from the rear of the church, I'm going to pray. And when you touch Sebastian, I don't care if you don't have anything. When you touch Sebastian, what do I want you to say? I believe God. Amen. And I'm not just going to ask you to give, but I'm going to give as well. Amen. I said, Lord, amen. I got my little $25 out this morning. Amen. But I can't ask you to go further, and I don't go further. Amen. So I'm going to look $50 now. That means you tell God I'm going to buy my lunch. You're going to be $25 short on your uh, birthday. I mean, lift up those hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, everyone that would give, even those that don't have anything, God, I want you to show them to the ministry. I want you to give, and then I'm going to give for the trees and for the food. Amen. I want you to take your gift. I want you to sow it in the name. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless us as we give. And God, we decree and declare that when we give you a seed, you're going to give us a harvest. When we give you a seed, God, that girl will going to see. God, when we give you a seed, God, your body is going to be healed. I want mean, somebody to say, put something down on it. In the name of Jesus, if you believe that tell God, amen. From the rear of the church, and you put it in the basket, I want you to say it now. I believe God. Come on here. Amen. Come on, I believe God. Come on now. Get on.
stop. Never be ashamed of what God has done or how he's blessed you. I keep telling y'all, I was in the military. I didn't have no money to give. I know I made the shit for bishop and all that type of stuff, but I don't care. I'm going to say it again. Amen. I'm going to keep it. Amen. I'm going to take it. <laughs> but when I was just a private in the army at Fort Worth, Louisiana, and as a young preacher, I didn't have the money to give. Y'all know y'all coaching folks. Y'all take a 20 off. <laughs> I was a judge of the temple church of God in Christ. The chapter of the shoe belonged in that church too. That was our pastor. I didn't have the money to give. And amen. One of the old mothers that was sitting over in the corner saw I didn't have the money. And they called me out, first lady. They said, Bro, you should have quit the military. You should have asked somebody. I just went to touch the mask. And by the time I got around the corner, one of those old mothers went in our left breast, breast pocket and pulled out a wet twin. <laughs> And by the time I got to my car, that $20 turned into about $800 because they saw I didn't get out of the And I gave what I would have done. I put my hands on it. Don't allow people to be afraid. I didn't have the no money, but I gave out my money. I know the money was one of those things. I was praying, and they didn't give me money like we were. Amen. I just prayed for free. I saw it for free. But God bless you. I'm trying to help y'all. Amen. See, don't ever be afraid of what God does. I thank God for Pastor Judge. I thank God for Judge and Temple Church of God in Christ. And he told me that he told me, he said, God counts every God. Amen. If you gave, if you gave, what you gave, a little down the a thousand dollars, put your hand together and say, Lord, I gave it to you. Listen, we got some birthdays today. Come here, Brother Rod. Let's say happy birthday to Brother Rod. Come on, listen to my little sister, Pastor. Amen. This brother is a man. I love you, man. Happy birthday. Amen. Amen. Come on, Brother Rod. Amen. Come on, Brother Rod. Happy birthday. We don't go to see you get off the work first lady coming to the government service. Happy birthday, man. God bless you. I know that you don't want to put it in. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So I bless God on today. And I also want to our uh, I gotta remember this from Seven. We also have a virtual church. And I also want to say happy birthday to one of our tithing members who's in Korea. And she sends her mother all the way uh, all the way at a time from Korea. We got folks that have been charming all over that sit their tight. And some of us are going, I'm a tight lady, you know that I'm going to be sitting in the East and Canada. And God will count what you do. He's going to make sure that you ain't right. Amen. But if you can have time and you gave $90, that wasn't your no time. And you made 100 you just gave a good offer. How she said, hey. But she sent her time. She sent her offer every week. And then we want to say happy birthday and also to, amen, sister uh, Yvette Don Anders, who just got on the charging major list. For E9, y'all were talking that she served in the military. I'm going to get down. She's been doing that. She's been doing that. Y'all don't see me, bro. Y'all don't see me. That's how the life stays up. Amen. Thank God. Happy birthday, Sister Edmonds, to you on today. Amen. Happy birthday again, Brother Huey, Brother Ryan. God bless you. Amen. Thank you for, uh, amen, First Lady, for joining us on today. We appreciate you. It's Wednesday. If you want to have a word, we'll get you that for you. If you somebody give up a knife, you can take it back there to the corner. You can at least greet us and say hello. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. You know, somebody give up like that work. <laughs> Let's say praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Do all right, she goes, Yeah. She said, But you would say, I said, Well, no, that's, that's me on, on the side. I said, You think that it's me? She said, Yeah, because y'all can sit down and watch over here. God bless you. I'll be back in the press coming. Mama, before she was first lady, she was a member of the Saints. Thank you, we give you a little bit of praise. God, we give you a little bit of praise. God, we give you a little bit of praise. God, we give you a little bit of praise. God, we give you a little bit of praise. God, we give you a little bit of praise. God, we give you a little bit of praise. God, we give you a